Welcome to Frog Tech Tips again guys. Uh, what we have today? We got old Dell desktop Dimension E520. Really funny case with hall in probably for air flowing. And yeah. It's quite old PC, it's Intel Celeron D inside Windows Vista Basic. Uh, I get this PC free. If you're interested how I get a free PC, just comment below and I can give you some tips. And what I will be try, I will be try <laughs> fix this PC to back to working condition. Okay guys, now I'll be try open this PC to see how it looks inside. Uh, which side is going? I think this side, yeah. Here you go. It's quite and simply. And we can see it's nearly everything is there. It's just missing hard drive. What should I know? And I'm try power on before this PC and it's power on nice and easy. Only problem is this huge amount of dust here. I will be try clean that to see if it's any performance better and if it's really interesting on the inside, I'll try get the upgrade this PC, which I got a couple of spare processor somewhere. First, we'll be remove this heatsink. I need to manage how because I never do this one. I first time ever see actually this case like this, but this looks quite funny. It's Dell solution. It's always interesting to learn some new stuff but you know I think it's holding two screw and just sliding out I won't take my screwdriver Yeah, it's my little son. Try help me. Okay, now I remove the two screw, which I thinking is holding this plastic on there. I need to find a way how to take this stuff properly out. There we go. Yeah, you can see uh, it's a lot of dust. Really huge amount of dust. Now I will try to clean, use some hoover and stuff like this. Okay, now I remove that big heatsink and now remove the fan which is holding on two clips. I find finally find it. Look at the dust is there. I'll try to clean nicely and all put together back. I'll give this to my little son, which has helped me four years old for cleaning and hopefully he done a good job. Hey! Okay now we got a really good progress. As you can see, the PC looks much better, it's more clean. My little son helped me cleaning the fan, which is doing a nice job. You'll see the result later. I removed the RAM, which has been only 512 MB DDR2 stick, it's pretty rubbish. And I will now check if I got a spare processor and spare arm to stack in and build again all together. Nice, even the fan is really nice and clean, which is more than enough. And my son now continue clean the heatsink. He's doing a very good job. Okay, 
now when I clean, I just find it one little problem. I hope so. It's not a problem. I will see later. But over there, when I remove the heatsink, I bend one pin on this small chip. It's not that really small. And I hope so. I bend it back and should be alright. Now we check it. What kind of processor is it? As I know, it's Intel Pentium D. You see the arrow is going on this side. And and it's really Pentium D three gigahertz rubbish. Never mind, cost ten p. I've got another processor. Alex, stop it. I've got another processor E four thousand six hundred, which is slightly better processor. It's just only 2.4 GHz, but it's Intel Core Duo, which is much better. Got a more cache and L2 and, and L3, I think. Oh, I really don't know, but I know it's just better. I'll be stuck this processor in. Just remember, arrow here. And just close. Simple as this. And put a all new thermal paste. Don't forget that. Put a hits in back. Stick of RAM. And we're gonna test it. If it's the piece is still alive as I bend the pin. Okay. Now the new processor is in. I will now try without damage putting back this heatsink. Quite funny heatsink. I even don't know how I made the damage. Maybe it's been there and it's working, but now I pin back. And I'm not sure what, if I done the right. Okay, click back. I got a new thermal paste, which is the one I use, HY510. I'm quite happy with this, it's not a problem at all, and any, any time. It's quite good, quite cheap for a project like this. What I'm doing, I just put a little amount of it's in, It's not a conductive, it doesn't matter. Really, it's not a problem how we put it, I don't see the difference. You can find lots of money on the YouTube how we put the thermal paste, but actually, really doesn't matter. And now, just took it back. Close. There's the screwdriver for closing. Nice! As I promised, I will be upgrading the RAM as well. I know it's not exactly the same RAM, but I got a two Samsung, one Hynix and one Alpida. Uh, all of them is the same, 666 MHz and one gigs DDR2 memory. I will stick them in, I hope it's all good. Also, hope as memory is good. Uh, I told you, RAM is easy. Really easy to stuck in. Okay, we got the still dust over there. I see on the one stick. Let me find my brush. Okay. Now I will be stick Samsung one on the first two slot. My fault, just remember where is the hole. It's going simply easy in. Just click, oh, the second click. Take another Samsung and just continue as a finish. Till all RAM stick is inside. Okay, uh, two more. Sorry about noise, just my son doing something. Okay, got all in, got the power. Now I will be try the PC switch on without the hard drive just to see if it's still working and it's alright to continue or if the processor I stick in is good or not. Okay, now. As you can see, I'm ready to test. The cleaning outside will be done later. 
uh, pieces on power and now I'll try to switch on okay all fun is on and here we go we got a post Okay, we got the BIOS version, processor information, which is quite funny because right me it doesn't support this processor, but it looks everything alright. Memory size 4 gig, PCI Express is nothing, boot time, good time, battery is good still, and we now have a drive, integrated this video, primary video, stuff like this. Multicore CP CPU is on. High speed speed step. Yeah, it all looks good. Fast boot. Okay, now I will try install the hard drive and install the Windows 10. Okay, now I will be stick in Seagate 250 gigs hard drive, which I got a spare. It's so easy and simply you just stuck this hard drive to this blue shelf and after that just I think ups and down stick over here plug the cable plug the power cable yeah, and Try switch on the PC again. Yeah. Otherwise, as you can see, the fan is all working. Uh, you can see that, but I can feel that. Overall, nice and quiet. PC is still working. And to be surprised, on that hard drive, I got some windows, which probably still be not working I'll try again we'll see what's happened but good point the hard drive is reading processor is alright and RAM is working as well and you can see me on the reflection which is all looks good I say hello oh yeah there is a Windows 7 repair disk. If this Windows will be alright, I will keep the Windows 7 as it doesn't need a Windows 10. But if it's not good, I will be install one of the Windows 10 and show you it's all working. This sound actually is the CD drive. There is probably some CD in. Go check. Here we go. Oh uh, yeah, it's over and left the CD. Which is some puppy CD. Nice. Okay, we got a question to restore. Restore this PC and I'll try to restore and let you know how it's finished. Okay, as the repair not working, probably that Windows is really bad. I tried to install Windows 10 and We'll see if it's working or not on the end, because board still writing not supported processor, but 
I don't know why, because NBS is actually recognized it uh, properly. But we'll see that what happened after a couple of restart and restart the PC as well. If it's all good. If it's not good, I can still put back the Celeron Day or I can try the different processor I've got on my drawer somewhere lying around. Uh, we'll see and I hope so. All will be good. Once it's all good, I'll be clean the outside. And okay, try finally. Windows is installed, PC is still running, and here we go. We got a fully working PC, nice and quiet. Uh, it's taking me time. Install the Windows, it's not so long actually. I've been quite surprised how quick. It's actually Windows 10. Uh, processor, 4 gigs RAM, all. This looks alright. Windows is activated. Now, just final step is clean the case, close it down, and do final test. Okay, now we have all done. I clean outside as well. It looks very nice actually, just a couple of scratch on the top. I like the side, it's nice white shiny color. Front is not bad condition as well. Um, actually all looks good. Uh, this is the monitor, I will be give it away as well with this PC, which I get a free as well. Plus mouse and keyboard. I don't have any spare keyboard, but I will be give it the mouse because it's a Dell, which is Dell system match together. Now after clean all cable is plugged in, I will be test if it's all good and how quick is actually load windows. Monitor is working, just need the adjust. Which is all done automatically. Loading windows. It's not bad for now. There you go. As you can see it's really old hard drive and clear windows and I think it's quite fast. Mm, surprise me. It's not bad. Okay, let's check if it can open. Okay, this window is still loading, but it's not really bad for what is it? And can have a look here. Oh yeah, Windows 10. Processor E4600, 2.4 gigahertz, dual core, 4 gigs RAM. I'll just double check if it's everything is installed correctly. But I'm sure is it. Because I don't see any error. Here we go. What's the uh, G6965? It's not really good for gaming, but it will be enough for watching video and school stuff and stuff like this. Point is, all of the stuff I get a free. Like I said before, if you want to know how I get a free stuff and turn to profit. Just ask, I can try help you, especially if you are from UK. And see you on the next video. And if you like, just like. And if you like me, just subscribe or whatever. And I'll be do more like this. I've got a couple of more projects on the way, especially with the graphic cards repair now. And yeah, we'll see. Later, guys. Bye.